right, let's go talk to Damien. And we are now in Millennium Park. I kind of like how they redid this part. on me. Damien crossed the line. He made the Batman angry. What about me? What about you? I'm not the only one suffering. They made me crippled. They took everything from me. What'd you say? That's what binds us together. You got nothing I need. There was another hacker. There was a second hacker. And I know how to find him. And that may be, Damien. But you can't do it on your own. You need me. Your big problem is... I don't need you. Don't walk away. This is a lead. Thanks for the tip. Uh, that's gonna come back to haunt us. Same without a computer. Supposedly the bean. Be more vulnerable than their systems. We were a strong team. After Lena, I was done with him. I didn't waste time thinking about him. And now he's creeping back in. I need to know what he's got on the Merlot. Alright, well, let's go then. Wherever my car is at. So, apparently, there's been a lot of questioning, or a lot of questions as to which game is better, this or Grand Theft Auto V. You know what, to be quite honest, I don't really have a def a definitive answer right now. Oh, we got a long way to drive. So I'm better get to move on. I don't really have a definitive answer. You know, they're both games have pr its own pros and cons. Shit. To be quite honest, I like the story in this one better. It's more clear. <clears throat> There's more like plot twists in this game. There's more. I don't want to say. I guess. I guess suspense, but. Grand Theft Auto V obviously has better character development. I think there's more likable characters in Watch Dogs, or my bad, in Grand Theft Auto V than there are in Watch Dogs. But then again, neither of those features really make or break a game. Gameplay-wise, um, it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say, to be quite honest. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. So I, think, I really think that's up for debate. 
which game triumphs over the other. But to be quite honest, I don't really. I, I have. To, I have to disagree with a lot of the critics that are really panning this game. Oh fuck! And then I, as soon as I say that, then I crash. <laughs> because this game is like so much more than what people make it out to be. You know? Yeah, sure. Let's. There's a lot of you know been there, done that moments, but still, I mean. Does I really deserve like a 0 out of 10? Which I've been seeing on Metacritic. I, mm, I don't think so. So, whatever. Onward with the story. What I will, what I will, what I will admit, excuse me, uh, about one thing is that I hate the fact that in this game you can't use the taxis to fast travel to where you need to be. Oh, shit, come on. How they had those in every other game, every other Grand Theft Auto style game that I've done, but not this one. It's, it's dumb. It's, it's bullshit, actually. But whatever. Let's go ahead and observe Lena's grave. Keeps leaving the flowers. No. But that girl has a lot of friends. Had. <laughs> wow, way to make this it depressing. Go. I know. We've all suffered a horrible nightmare, but you have to stop trying to fix it. I'm not trying to fix anything. Aiden. I know what you're doing. I know you're chasing after the people that did this. When you do that, you put us all in danger again. You are not in danger. Because I protect you. Do you hear yourself? Aiden, why can't you stop? Because... I need to know. You are my brother, and I love you. But Jackson is my world, and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. Promise me you're going to share that umbrella, because right now I'm getting soaked in the rain. No, you didn't. I don't blame you. But promise me you will stop. We need this as a family. I promise. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna vault over her grave. Survivor from the stadium. If that guy talks, he'll ID you. Survivor? How did that happen? I'm guessing he didn't die. No, relax. <laughs> I got a plan. Meet me at Gorman Heights on the rooftop. I'm guessing he didn't die. So fucking sarcastic. I love it, Jordy. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Alright. Dang. I keep driving so far away. Ooh, crime detected. I'm only gonna do this one just because we're right here, so we might as well do it. Here we go. It's gotta be close. Oh, 
your victim. Shit. Stop him. Damn it. We couldn't save the victim. Fuck. Oh well. Honestly, like, sometimes you've either got two options. You've either got incapacity, incapacitate, excuse me, the criminal, but risk, um, there's like a high chance of the victim dying, or save the victim, but you have to kill the perpetrator. Because obviously you get more experience if you save the victim and you don't kill the criminal, but you incapacitate him. <laughs> but, whatever. Watch ever. I don't really rec I don't really remember this road in Chicago. Oh shit. Then again, I'm not really expecting Ubisoft to get every single street right, every single corner of Chicago. I mean, that would be very very impressive. Ooh, wow. That sunshine was so realistic. That sun angle. <laughs> but yeah, that actually would be pretty impressive if they could uh if they could get every single street angle right, every single characteristic of the inner city, but then again, there's only so much they can do. The skyscrapers, the Hancock Building, and the Willis Tower, they definitely got those parts right. Of course, then again, I would also expect them to get the, that right, because, I mean, come on. Skyscrapers are really the only thing that anybody really pays attention to in the city. And my car is about to get totaled right about now. Right, here we go. No doors. <laughs> Not the pizza guy. Where is he? And Jordy can be a pain to work with. He's the devil I know. Things were different. I might be hunting him down. Or vice versa. But if he says we got a problem, I need to take it as a massive understatement. Can't let this survivor ID me. Everything's gonna spiral out of control. Duh. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Ooh, ATM. Nice. Now we can get all that money that we siphoned out of those bank accounts. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you don't get every single dollar that you um, hack from an account. Ooh, let's go. Come on, vault over. That would be nice, though. You have to buy that feature. Nice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Who are they? Well, they live here. What happened? Well, security in these buildings is pretty tight. So, people like this feel nice and secure living way up here. I mean, these people just had a, a simple chain lock on their door. I guess they want to have a good look at the pizza guy before they open it all the way. All right, fine. Sure. <laughs> about this problem. Well, that's why I brought the bolt cutters. He opens the door this much, there's a chain right there, I slip him in and snip, and guess what? It's not the pizza guy. Shorty, the problem, let's deal with it. We are dealing with it. We're in the midst of solutions here, Pierce. You don't appreciate what I do for you. You don't realize how much I take care of you, do you? Really? Yeah. Well, do me a favor, let's get on with it. How much time do we have? Well, as much as we need. Oh, you remember the stiff from the stadium? He's not so stiff anymore. The uh, cops got him in Chicago lockup, and oh, he's about to walk into an interrogation and point a finger right at you. How did that happen? Kick me when I'm down. 
get a view. See there? Call went out this morning. Somebody is paying Buku bucks to grab this clown and make him talk. And one of those guys is running the assignment. Well, it seems like me and him need to have a little chat. Yeah, but this time, don't do that empty gun thing. Poor Maurice pissed himself after your last show. Don't worry about my methods. You know what I <laughs> that thing? Just get your ass down there, I got you covered. And don't kill the boss this time. You kinda need him. You think? I didn't kill Maurice. 